welcome to the continuation of our discussion on polynomials. For this video, we are going to talk about how to add or subtract polynomials. So, how do we add or subtract polynomials? If we are given multiple polynomials, we can add or subtract them by first, we need to combine like terms, and then after combining like terms, we need to simplify and write the polynomial in standard form. As we have stated in the previous slide, the first step in the addition or subtraction of polynomial is to combine like terms. But what are like terms? Like terms are terms whose variables and their exponents are the same. Examples of like terms are if we have 7x and 3x. These two are like terms because the variable for the first term is x, right? And the exponent is 1. And the, and the second term, the variable is also x and the exponent is also 1. Okay, so these two are like terms. Another example is if we have 8x squared and 4x squared. These two are like terms because in the first term, the variable is x and the exponent is 2. The same with the second term with a variable of x and an exponent of 2. Let us have another example. 8xy squared and 3xy squared. These two are like terms because the variables x with an exponent of 1 and y with an exponent of 2. This is the same with the second term with x with an exponent of 1 and y with an exponent of 2. Examples of not like terms, unlike terms, are 3x squared and 2x. These two are unlike terms because the first one has an exponent of 2 while the second one has an exponent of 1. Another unlike terms are 4xy squared and 3x squared y. The first one has x raised to 1, y raised to 2. The second one has x raised to 2, y. So we cannot combine them because they are unlike terms. In our next slide, we are going to talk about how do we add or how do we subtract like terms. Let us now consider the following example. Let us add the two polynomials. The first polynomial is 12x squared plus 9x minus 21. And the second polynomial is 4x cubed plus 8x squared minus 5x plus 20. Okay, the first step in solving for the sum of these two polynomials is to combine like terms. The first polynomial has term 12x squared. We need to combine this term with the second polynomial with the term x squared. So this is the one. So we need to combine 12x squared plus 8x squared. And then next, the first one has 9x and the second one has negative 5x. So we need to combine the two. So we have 9x minus 5x. The third term for the first polynomial is negative 21. 
This is a constant term. We need to combine it with the constant term on the second polynomial, which is positive 20. So to do that, we need to add negative 21 and positive 20. All right. So we have combined these terms with the terms in the second polynomial. But as you may have noticed, there is a term in the second polynomial which doesn't have any like term and this in the first one that is 4x cubed 4x cubed has x as a variable and 3 as the exponent we do not see anything uh, the same in the first polynomial that's why we just need to add it okay we just need to copy the term and then we combine the two expressions i mean um, expression about so we have 12x squared plus 8x squared what do we do to add these two together we just need to add the constants in this case we need to add 12 and 8 so 12 plus 8 is 20 and we just need to add x squared we need to copy and then next we have 9x minus 5x so 9 minus 5 is positive 4 and copy the variable with the exponent and then negative 21 plus 20 is negative 1 so we can write it as minus 1 and lastly we just need to copy 4x cubed after combining the two polynomials we need to write this in standard form Standard form meaning we need to write the terms where the exponent is decreasing. So the term with the highest exponent is 4x cubed. We just need to write that first. And then 20x squared plus 4x minus 1. Now let us try to solve one more example. We have 4y cubed plus 7y squared plus 3y minus 8 added to 6y cubed minus 2y squared plus 4. Okay, so we need to combine 4y cubed and 6y cubed. So 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. So we have 10y cubed. We have 7y squared and negative 2y squared. Combining them gives us 7 minus 2, which is equal to positive 5y squared. 3y, we do not have any y in the second polynomial, so we just need to copy 3y to plus 3y. And minus 8 plus 4 gives us negative 4, so that's minus 4. So that's the sum of the two polynomials. Let us now subtract polynomials. 7x raised to 4 minus x squared plus 6x plus 1 and then minus the polynomial 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 2. Subtraction is just a little bit different with addition. The only catch in subtracting polynomials is since this is minus, we need to distribute the minus sign to all the terms in the second polynomial. So the first thing that we need to do here is to get rid of the parentheses. So the terms in the first polynomial, we don't need to do anything them we just copy them okay so we have 7x raised to 4 minus x squared plus 6x plus 1 but here in the second polynomial to get rid of the parentheses we need to distribute the negative sign to all the terms that means that the sign of the terms will be changed that is a 5x cubed now becomes negative 5x cubed 
negative 2x squared now becomes positive 2x squared positive 3x now becomes minus 3x and then plus 2 now becomes minus 2 that is because the negative here is distributed to all the terms in the second polynomial now we are ready to combine like terms 7x raised to 4 as you can see we do not have any more terms with x raised to 4 so we just need to copy 7x raised to 4 and the second one is x raised to 3 the only term with x raised to 3 is this one is negative 5x raised to 3 so we just need to copy negative 5x raised to 3 next we go to x squared we have negative x squared here and another x squared over there so we combine minus 1 and plus 2 so that's negative 1 plus 2 is plus 1 or positive 1 that's positive 1 x squared or simply x squared now let us go to x we have 6x over here and minus 3x over here so 6 minus 3 is 3x so that's plus 3x and finally we combine the constants so we have positive 1 and negative 2 adding them gives us negative 1 Therefore, that is the answer to the problem.